Hey guys, my name is Arjun. Today we are going to talk about lollipop chart. So for uh, let's look at our final visualizations. So here you can see the final output. So this indicates your sales and the profit. So the sales is lollipop, lollipop and uh, the profit you can see using the colors of uh, the circles. That is, if it is positive, then it is red. Uh, blue. Else, if it is negative, then it is uh, red. So this you could have done using the bar chart, but the one difference is like a lollipop chart is more visually appealing. So let's start from the beginning. Beginning. Okay. Uh, first, I'll take the states, and uh, if you see, look at here, there are more number of states, right? So I'll put a region filter that is central. Okay. So now again, I'll take sales here. Okay, I got a bar graph and I want one more is circles, right? So I need to create one more axis. So I'll drag it again, the sales. So now I'll make it dual axis. So everything is converted into a circles. I'll make the first one as bar graph and the second one in as a line uh, as a circles okay so now we can see the circles uh, okay hope this are not synchronized so let's do synchronize yes okay now I'll, I'll give a color for that so the for the bar color i'll take this color and again i'll go and see color here color and I'll reduce the size of the bar and I'll increase the circle size okay this is good and uh, so now we are done with the sales part so now we need to take the profit so I'll take this profit for the color uh, circle we need to do, I'll take it in a uh, circle for that axis, sales, second axis. I'll drag it here, profit. So I got multi colors. I'll go to again edit color and uh, I'll take it to stepped, make it two step colors and then I'll take one is red color, another one is blue. Let this be blue and apply. Okay. And I'll increase the view fit to entire view. So you can see I'll hide the second axis show headers. I'll hide the state as well. Okay. And again, I'll try to increase now the say size of the circles. Okay, and let me uh, decrease the size of bar. Okay, so now I'll give a labels that is sales labels. Sales label, I'll drag it over here. Okay, it's overlapping, right? So uh, let me check here anything else I can do. If I take vertical top, no, nothing is happening. If I take middle, okay, it's happening here. So what I'll do, instead of taking the labels over here, I'll drag the labels into the circle axis. So the second axis. And uh, here, if I change that alignments, hoping it's run, yes. So there you can see the properly, right? Yes. So, so now we can, uh, there are two uh, tooltips are coming. So I'll remove the tooltip for the second axis. Okay. Now if I hover on only bar graph, 
I'll get the two. Either you can make it for the one circle or you can make it for the bar. Okay. I hope this video is useful to you guys. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.